Welcome and thank you for joining us for the second half hour, The Factor on Center. Now, Freak Nick is legendary, a festival that happened during spring break in the 80s and 90s. The best way to describe it is an all-black spring break that wasn't in Miami, but the city of Atlanta. That moment in time was infamous. Students would go to Atlanta for music, drinks, and a bunch of debauchery. Years later, the story of Freak Nick has been chronicled in a new documentary coming to Hulu Thursday, March 21st. Executive producers Uncle Luke from Two Live Crew and Jermaine Dupree talk about Freak Nick, the wildest party never told. So first of all, my question was, where did the brainchild, where did the idea for this documentary come from? Because when you guys announced it, you know, the world went crazy in mm -hmm. anticipation for it. Well, well I, you know, we were just, you know, me and uh, me and uh, Jay and Nikki and and we all we were just sitting around and and, and I said, look, we, we got to we got to do Freak Nick. And uh, it was like everybody was like looking at me like I was crazy. And then and I say, OK, well, we can't do Freak Nick without J.D., you know, and so uh, it started off uh, uh, with uh, it was uh, Clarence's son, Avon's yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. 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 and uh, we talked to him about it. I think he was at another network at the time. And then we all just ended up coming together, uh, me, J.D., and the folks at Swirl, and, and said, hey, look, man, we got to do this story. And then as we got into it, it became more important than just a wild and crazy, freaky story. It became... A story about you know uh, the history of Atlanta, black excellence. It, it became a story about the things that uh, the iconic figure that JD is is and and how it all you know how it all transcended from Freak Nick. And so you know it became that that story. And so I mean when people get to when people look at it, they're going to be amazed. You know, they're going to be amazed because the average person right now is, is worrying about whether their mama was on top of a car uh, dancing, <laughs> how their daddy was uh, 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 doing something wild and crazy on the video. But they're going to get to see a, a story about uh, black excellence, the good, the bad, the ugly uh, of it all. And there were uh, a lot of individuals out there who were concerned about what would come out in this documentary, even threatening injunctions to try and stop it, J.D., yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think that, you know, I never seen so many people snitching on themselves like that. But uh, um, I mean, I I, I, I want to say that, you know, um, for those people out there, um, one, this is a documentary that shines a lot of light on my city. Right. And as a person that that claims to be the unofficial mayor of Atlanta, I would never do anything to bad to put a bad, you know, apple or bad eye on, on Atlanta. I'm trying to make Atlanta continue to be this prosperous place that it's always been. Um, has Freak, does Freak Nick have some kind of darkness element about it? 100%. And do we go into that in this documentary? 100%. But the entire documentary is not about that. This is about black history. Then it's about the South also. It's about a, a, a story from the South that's never been told. And that's, that's basically what the, that's why the title is that. Um, and it's a lot of stories like this. If we talk about, um, you know, you in Houston, we talk about Lil J and we talk about uh, rap a lot, right? It's a lot of people Absolutely. that don't know. There's a lot of people that don't know nothing about rap a lot records. They done heard Scarface and they heard this, that, and the third, and they heard Biggie say rap a lot. I'm not from Houston, but I rap a lot. You hear this, but you don't know the stories, right? And it's like, right. we, we, None of us told our stories, and I and I bring up rap a lot because I don't. I mean, me being from Atlanta, I don't know a lot about rap a lot records besides what I've heard in the streets. And I'm sure it's a whole story to go along with this that is it needs to be heard. Everybody else's story is heard. We know Russell Simmons' whole life from being from New York, right? We know EZ whole life from being from the West Coast. You don't know nothing about Luke besides the fact that Luke was banned in America and this, that, and third, and two live crew. Yeah, but I'm saying, 
If it weren't for social media, you wouldn't know a lot about this man. This man do a lot of things for his community. And and um, I just feel like we have, we as in the South, as being giants of people that keep saying we icons. If we icons, we our stories still haven't been told. And that's what this is about. And last question, the last 30 seconds we have here. How proud of you are the product that you guys are releasing on March 21st? I mean, man, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud to just be sitting here with this this young man right here. I mean, we go all, all the way back from Jack the Rapper, uh, walking around the hallways, not knowing whether we'll still be relevant to this day right now yeah. and to be a part of this project, you know, and, you know, thank God for Hulu uh, to, to, to be the streaming network for it. I mean, you know, I'm more proud than anything because this ain't the this ain't the last story, you know. Just like JD said, you know, our story is gonna be told right now from our perspective, and it's gonna be us telling the story and not some some person uh, come from somewhere else uh, trying to you know tell a story about us. We get to do that. Now, Freak Nick, The Wildest Party Never Told premieres on Hulu March 21st. 